Hi friends, in today's video, I will show you how to crochet a very beautiful flower. I am using a 5mm crochet hook and a 3 ply yarn. So, first of all, wrap the yarn around your fingers like this. Then, with the help of crochet hook, pull the second loop through first one to make a magic ring. Now, make chain 1 chain 2 and then chain 3 which will be counted as a double crochet wrap the yarn around the crochet hook go into this ring and then draw a loop we have 3 loops on our hook pull the yarn through first two wrap the yarn again go into the ring and draw a loop pull the yarn through first two now we have 3 loops on our crochet hook pull the yarn through all 3 loops together now make chain 1 chain 2 and then chain 3. Wrap the yarn again, go into the ring and then draw a loop. Pull the yarn through first two. Wrap the yarn again, go into the ring again. Draw a loop, pull the yarn through first two. Again, draw a loop, pull the yarn through first two. Now we have four loops on our hook. Pull the yarn through all four loops together. This is double crochet three together or double crochet cluster. Make three chains again and then make unfinished half double crochet, uh, sorry, double crochet stitch. Make three times and then pull the yarn through all four loops together to finish them and make a cluster stitch. So I have made total of six cluster stitches. Pull the starting yarn end. Make three chains and make a slip stitch at the top of first cluster. Now make chain one, make a single crochet into the chain 3 space wrap the yarn around the crochet hook go into the ring and draw a loop pull the yarn through all three loops together to make a half double crochet stitch then we would make double crochet one double crochet two and then double crochet three We would make one half double crochet and then a single crochet. First petal is ready. Now go into the second chain 3 space, make a single crochet stitch into it first, then make a half double crochet stitch. Then make double crochet one, double crochet one, double crochet two, and then double crochet three, then one half double crochet. And a single crochet complete six petals in this way. Now you would make second layer to make second layer, make a slip stitch into the starting chain one. Pull this yarn, we would take this loop back on hook and take it to the back side to make second layer. Now make chain 1, chain 2, chain 3 and then chain 4. After making 4 chains,
on two back loops of this middle single crochet stitch we would make a single crochet make chain 1 chain 2 3 and then 4 again we would make a single crochet in these two back loops which are shown in middle of these two petals so make a single crochet here make chain 1 chain 2 chain 3 and then chain 4 and make a single crochet on the side loops of the next single crochet stitch between petals in this way complete three more chains here now make a slip stitch into the very first chain here which is the starting chain now we would make petals in these chain 4 spaces so first of all make a single crochet then we would make a half double crochet stitch then double crochet one double crochet two double crochet three double crochet four double crochet five and then We would make half double crochet and a single crochet now for the next petal next chain four space make single crochet a half double crochet then double crochet one double crochet two double crochet three double crochet four double crochet five make half double crochet and then a single crochet in this way complete petals in next four chain once uh, chain four spaces as well now make a slip stitch into the starting point pull this yarn and we would take this loop of yarn again on back side to make third layer it's a little bit difficult to work through here Pull this loop now back on hook and loop is on back side make chain 1 chain 2 chain 3 chain 4 chain 5 chain 6 and again we would make a single crochet into this 
middle single crochet stitch of these two petals now make chain 1 chain 2 chain 3 chain 4 chain 5 and then chain 6 again and again make a single crochet on these two back loops of this single crochet stitch between these two petals so make six chains and single crochet till the end now again we would make a slip stitch into the very first chain one now we would start our third layer into this chain 6 space and we would start with a single crochet stitch then we would make a half double crochet stitch and then we would start making double crochet stitches double crochet 1 double crochet 2 double crochet 3 double crochet 4 double crochet 5 double crochet 6 double crochet 7 double crochet 8 double crochet 9 and then make a half double crochet stitch this yarn is a little bit puffy it, that's why it is not comfortable in use make a single crochet now first petal is ready we would work into the next chain 6 space to make second petal make a single crochet first then a half double crochet then double crochet 1 double crochet 2 double crochet 3 double crochet 4 double crochet 5 double crochet 6 double crochet 7 double crochet 8 and then double crochet 9 then we would make a half double crochet stitch and a single crochet stitch so make other 4 petals with the same process Now in the end, we would make a slip stitch into the very first single crochet stitch, then pull the yarn, cut it with the help of cutter and remove the extra yarn strand, 
now we would weave this yarn end with the help of tapestry needle first of all take this yarn at back side then make a knot with the help of needle like this way and then pull it through some stitches of back side stitches would not get loose by making a knot this way now cut this extra yarn strand and our very beautiful flower is ready with three layers you can use this flower on baby products baby frocks hat shoes so don't forget to subscribe thank you so much for watching